Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how they normally weld train tracks together. So I saw this video on Facebook. Well, I'm not the author of the video, but however, I saw the video and it looks so interesting because like I've never seen anything in my life like this, this unique. So basically, this video is how the world train tracks together. I mean, obviously, you know, like when they put train tracks on the ground, you would usually sometimes think now whilst they were doing their measurements, they kind of did the measurement like they know what tracks or what metals they would put on the ground obviously when they major they they usually know what to do i mean never would you ever think that sometimes when you're on the train the tracks not all of them were quite majored accordingly mostly when they had to put a certain pattern so guys basically today video this guys creates a magnificent skill so basically what they've put inside the ports or the furnace they've put um i think that's like metals but metals in a different form not like the actual rod metal type of thing and they're trying to melt it if i'm correct turn into a liquid metal and they pour it on the trail track but would it not melt the track itself that is actually funny because you normally think right it would literally melt the track oh wow that even train are even passing whilst they're walking I mean, guys, just imagine how interesting this is, like, how train is passing where you're walking. Sometimes I, I'd imagine what sort of mental fitness you need to be to get a job within the train, the railway industry, because mostly when you are an engineer, oh, look how are they literally bringing the fire down. So it looks like the top is one of those things that kind of quench the fire. Wow, this is so unique. I mean, now I'm just thinking like during those, those medieval times when they started building train tracks around everywhere, like how were the engineers able to kind of use their ingenuity considering the fact that they never had like most of the equipment that people do have now. Like this is so super amazing. Like you can see how they taken away the leftover um, metal liquid. So one thing I'm quite surprised about is this. Metal liquid and lava from a volcano like what is actually the difference? Is it that a volcano liquid is more like, um, or oh, it turns into a rock after everything, and a metal liquid is more like, um, or should we say, a refined um, particles put together to make a metal? More or less, I don't know. You guys tell me, like, oh uh, yeah, this are the guys. Yeah, pretty much. This is so. Now I'm just thinking, how in God's name are they literally gonna make this smooth? Because I really wanna see. Do you know, guys, what would have been cool? Oh, wow. So, what is this gonna do? Is it gonna take this off? Oh, basically, the machine cracks the concrete, the, the cement away. Oh wow. You would think that I actually thought I was metal. 
I didn't know it was two marble blocks they put together. I'd imagine that as a special type of block to wool lava. It had to be a special type of block, honestly. That is such a strong block. Do you know what I think? Imagine putting this block in a volcano field. I think this block would survive. Oh wow, so what next are you gonna are they gonna um saw it out or just am I like am I out? What are they gonna do? I'm just kinda confused. Oh wow, oh so literally the machine took out the liquid metal out. Wow. This is so sick. I mean it's funny how Metal is one of those things that they kind of use metal to make it metal, you know what I mean? Like, it's the same thing as you're saying, like, you gotta use money to find money. So, I just, are they just gonna keep hammering it out? I'm confused. I mean, even if they were just gonna keep hammering it out, like, how can they get what they want? I think you gotta use for. Yeah, at some point they have to saw it at some point because I don't see how this would come out smooth. Obviously, well, I'm not the engineer, so I I wouldn't tell honestly. I, I just wouldn't tell what they're doing to it. I mean, I believe that's a smooth now. Oh, okay. So this is more like a filer, I think. Yeah, it's kind of like putting it together. Wow. This is really cool, guys. Honestly, this is an adventure. Do you know, I've always wanted to ask this question. You know when they do welding, like, the fire that comes out, is it, is it like actual fire? Or is it like an actual um, liquid metal flying? And if it is, then it would definitely be dangerous to human health. So, I don't know, like... Yeah, oh my days, look at this train, that is so flipping close, man. Look, so imagine, like, just a slight mistake and one person push one person, you know, by, by a mistake, that's it. I don't know, I feel like it's just so risky. Oh, yeah, now they're using, like, a normal filer. Yeah, I've seen them once, so this, oh, wow. You know when you look at it like that, you just think it fell out? Boy, that is a liquid metal. This concrete is so strong. Oh, right, that makes sense. So the whole goal is to try to make the top smoother, I think. Wow. Would a train ever pass there now? That would be cool. To get to see a train pass, oh wow, look at the finish. What's this, what they did? This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Nobody will ever think, oh wow, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that's a train passing by. I sometimes I just wonder, like, operating the train, like, how nice of a job that would be.